Here we are in the Kevin Lido demo experience. Uh, we're running on the Quest 2 headset natively, and we are also using hand tracking. So we do not need a controller for the experience, just a headset. And then the headset is going to be able to reproduce our hands in the VR world so we can interact with certain elements. Uh, when you start the application, we just have this lobby that reminds us to adjust the lens for good clarity and then we're going to show a few guides to make sure to guide new user through the experience just a reminder where the volume is since as you can hear there's a soundtrack in the background that is going to accompany us through all the experience since we're not using any controller to teleport around we are going to walk toward the artworks that we want to interact with we're also going to have 3D widget that we can interact to just simply by touching them with our finger like this and then when you're done with the experience you can just remove the headset you don't have to look for a menu or exit tab or anything so we can hit the start button just to get the uh, the experience going it's slowly going to load and uh, show us the uh, title and gradually the environment is going to reveal itself so the intent of this experience uh, would be that um, would be integrated within an actual uh, art gallery. So you would go to this exhibition to see the real artwork that is presented. But in a certain area of the gallery, you would have the VR headset that you can put on. And once you're in that VR world, you would be in a identical virtual replica of this exhibition. And that will allow us to interact with uh, some of the artworks in ways that are only possible in the VR world. So in this case, we are in the Polygon Gallery, which is located in North Vancouver. It was designed by the Patco architecture firm. And on the wall, you will see um, many paintings that are all digital uh, version of work done by Kevin Lido, a Montreal-based artist, including this mural at the back that is currently on display on a building uh, downtown Squamish. If I look around me, there's a black circle which shows the area that is reserved for the VR experience. And everything happens within this circle, so I don't bump into other people actually walking around the gallery. So instead of walking to the artworks, we're going to have the artworks come to us. And uh, we have a green footprint in front of us that is encouraging us to go over there. And if we do so, this will trigger the first artwork to come toward me. Now, the first experience is just a more simple experience to ease us into this interactive world. We're gonna have a looping animation in sync with the music, just flowing through three different parameters of the file. Basically, we're gonna play with the hue and the contrast and the normal map. The normal map is what is giving us this emboss 3D texture quality, and we're just gonna go through this simple animation. Next to us, we're going to have a color wheel, which is the first 3D widget that we can interact with. And then uh, if I touch any part of the wheel, it's going to select a different hue. And then you can see the painting changing from our interaction with the color wheel. And we can reset back to its original animation. And that's, so that's the first experience. Now that we've interacted with it, we can see that uh, this uh, footprint is also green. So we can walk over there and trigger the second experience. And the first one should go back to its place. This one is going to be a bit more three-dimensional. So we're going to slowly evolve into more interactive experience. This painting is slowly going to come out of its canvas and generate a 3D sculpture mapped on its original form.
then we're going to have an animation that has the colors flowing through the constraint of the sculpture, giving us many representation, many 2D paintings living within that sculpture. If I move closer to the painting, uh, I'm going to have a series of widgets that I can interact with in a similar fashion to the first one. Wherever I touch it, it's going to select the section of the sculpture that I want to fill in with color and I can play with it in a more dynamic way. And then it resets back to its an animation. It's going to clear up whatever artifact is left within the painting. There we go. So that's the second experience. And then if I look back and I'll have the third footprint available for us to trigger the third painting to come to us. It's going to have a sign next to it reminding us not to touch the artwork, but then again it's going to start glitching, maybe encouraging us to touch it. And if I do so, since there's not much happening, there's not much else happening around it, if I touch it, we'll see that the painting is actually reacting to my touch. And after a third touch, it is going to explode into a multitude of facets. And this will trigger a chain reaction that will make every artwork in the space explode. And it's going to gradually fill the room with hundreds of colorful blocks flowing and interacting with each other. Again, all this artwork by Kevin Leto. The soundtrack is music by Tom York. And then everything else, the animation, the 3D art by me. There you have it, the Leto demo, VR experience.